if you have been thinking of that dress that can give you comfort elegance freedom and style then this tutorial is for you hey guys my name is Ayomide. i'm a fashion designer and i post content around how to sew if this is your first time here you are most welcome thank you for stopping by if you're a returning viewer a returning subscriber you're the best thank you for stopping by also just in case you haven't subscribed to the channel, please click on the subscribe button below and also turn on your notification for more videos. Now let's jump straight into this tutorial. For this project, these are the materials I am going to be working with. I've got this adire, which is locally made here in Nigeria. I have some pins, tailor's chalk. I also have my measuring tape. I have my long ruler and i also have my pattern master now these are what i'm going to be using for these projects the next up is the required measurement and you need the length of the gown shoulder measurement shoulder to bust waist and hip measurements because this is a free gown we are going to be needing just the hip measurements and to that hip measurement which is the widest measurement of your body you're going to be adding either four five or six inches depending on how free you want these garments to be and for this particular one i added six inches to my actual hip measurement after which i divided it by four i've gone ahead to place my fabric into two as always and this line i have right here is going to be my shoulder line where i am going to be marking all of my measurement from the first thing i will mark is the chest line measurement afterwards i would mark the shoulder to bust measurements i would also mark the shoulder to waist measurements and i would mark the shoulder to hip measurements so i'm just going over to mark all of these crucial points on the garments Once I was through marking all of those measurements, the next thing I did was to mark the length of the gown and it is 40 inches that I worked with. I'm sorry my camera couldn't contain the entire length but I'm, I just went ahead to mark 40 inches and I added 2 inches for extra hemming allowance. That is because I want a wild turnover at the hem of the dress. The next thing is to place our measurements. On the chest line, I'm going to be marking that measurement I told you about. I added 6 inches to the actual if measurement and I divided by 4 and that gave me 13.5. So I placed that measurement on the chest line. I placed the same measurement on the bust line. I'm going over to place it on the waist line and I'm also placing the same measurement on the hip line. And this is because I want this garment to be a loose dress so there's no need to use the other measurements. The hip measurement is fine. In addition to that, I'm also going over to mark one inch sewing allowance. You could also use half inch. I, I think I would have preferred it if I used half inch, but if one inch is okay for you, then that's fine. Then I'm also going over to connect all of those lines together. The next thing I'm doing is to place my shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement is 16 divided by 2 is 8 so i'm going over to mark 8 inches and because the sleeve of this gown is going to be cut together with the body right from that 8 measurement i'm going to be marking the length of the sleeve which is 12 so i'm just going over to mark 12 inches and in addition to that i'm going to be adding my seam allowance of about one inch I'm just going over to mark my seam allowance for the sleeve there. Now, the next thing I will do is from that measurement, I'm going to be coming down by one inch and I'm going to be drawing my shoulder slants. thereafter i'm going to be working on the neckline remember the eight inches shoulder measurements that i marked right from that eight inches i'm going to be marking 2.5 inches away so what that means is that my shoulder 
width is going to be 2.5 inches then the neck depth i'm using is 3 inches once again this is also out of focus sorry about that then i'm also going to be going over to create my neckline Once I'm through with that, the next thing I did was to create the opening for the sleeve and I marked 9.5 inches downward and connected it to the bust line and not the chest line. This is to make it quite wide enough. However, if you don't want a wide enough sleeve, you could use the same length as your chest line. So your chest line could serve as a guide, but for this, I connected it to the bust line then i'm also going over to blend it after which i'll go ahead and cut this out i'm done cutting this out remember this is just the front and this is what it looks like the next thing i'll do is to place my fabric on fold again and place this same pattern on it and use it to cut out the back no extra allowance is added just a replica of the front and i'm duplicating it for the back after i was done cutting out i went ahead to notch the waist area and this would serve as a guide for me when i want to fix the pockets in the front now guys these are my fabric pieces I have my front this is the front and i also have the back fabric piece for the pocket that i'm going to be fixing in the front i have this patch of fabric that i have gone ahead to cut out already and the length of this is about 12 inches long and 11 inches wide the next thing i will do is to pipe the opening of the pockets this area is going to be my pocket opening so i'll just go over to my sewing machine and pipe the edges i'll go over and sew this all the way down and this i have done already the next thing would be to top stitch this pocket on the right side of the front pattern piece and i'm using that notch by the waist as a guide on how to position this pocket thereafter i would go to the base of the pocket and turn it inward by half an inch i would also turn the sides inward by half an inch i would also turn the other side inward by half an inch and then go over and top stitch this all the way down leaving the pocket opening so this is how i'm going to be fixing the pocket on this garment i've gone ahead to do that already and i have my pockets right here properly positioned the next thing would be to pick up my back pattern piece and then place right sides against each other once i have positioned right sides against each other i'm going to be sewing the shoulder all the way down and also sew the sides to all the way down i'm also going to be repeating this for the other side of my gown too I'm done sewing this down already. I've gone ahead to stitch the shoulder and also stitch the sides too. You would want to trim your seam allowances very well because of that curved area. That was why I said you could also use half an inch. Now the next thing would be to finish off the raw edges. Starting with the sleeve, I'm going to be opening up the side seam this way. Fold half an inch inward and fold half an inch inward again just like you are piping it. I'm going to be securing it with a pin. I'll also go over to the shoulder seam, fold half an inch inward and fold half an inch inward again. Secure it with a pin. I will also try as much as possible to secure the mid part of the sleeve with a pin just to make it easier for me when I want to sew on the sewing machine. And this is the same way I'm going to be doing for the other sleeve too so i'll just go over and then sew this all the way around i'm going to be doing likewise for the m of the dress too picking up where i have my side seam remember my aiming allowance was two inches so i'm just going over for accuracy sake marking two inches 
then i would fold it along the two inches and fold in half an inch inward i'm also going to be securing it with a pin i would also go over to where i have my other side seam to repeat likewise measure two inches downward fold it in along the two inches and also mark and also fold in half an inch inward and secure it with a pin all of these things makes my work easier when i want to sew thereafter i would go over to my sewing machine and sew this all the way down you can see that this is folding in already as for the neckline i would go over and use a bias tape to finish off the neckline and this is the outcome of the boob gown if you found this tutorial helpful make sure you click on the like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly click on the subscribe button below don't forget to share this video share with your friends and your sewing community and if you get to try this kindly tag me on instagram Ior Designs to Academy and until my next video make sure you stay blessed stay safe and have a wonderful day